A helical compression spring is made with oil tempered wire with wire diameter of 0.2 inches, mean coil diameter of 2 inches, a total of 12 coils, and a free length of 5 inches with squared ends. What's the factor of safety guarding against yielding when the spring is compressed to its solid length? And just like I mentioned during example 1, let's assume that we know how to calculate the shearing yield strength and that that value is 99 KSI. We'll learn how to calculate this value in the next main video, link below. This is the third example for the Mechanical Springs Basics main video. Links to that video and the first two examples are in the description of this video. The factor of safety against yielding will of course be the shearing yield strength over the shearing stress. The S sub index I'm using is for solid length, since we're considering the worst case scenario when the spring is compressed to closure. We have the shearing yield strength and we know that the shearing stress will be given by that expression that we derived during the main video. And again, I'm using the S sub index because the maximum shearing stress will occur when the external compressive load F is maximum and equal to the load required to bring the spring to its solid length. That force can be found if we know the spring constant K and the maximum deflection or the difference between the free length and the solid length. We have the free length and we have an expression to calculate the spring constant K. The number of active coils, or the coils that will actually resist the compression of the spring, will be equal to the total number of coils, minus 2, one at each end that don't resist the compression. The solid length will be the same that we used during the example 2, since it's the same for plane ends or squared ends. With these values we find that the force to solid length is equal to 67.2 pounds. The only thing we're missing is therefore the curvature correction factor KB, which depends on the spring index C. The shearing stress is therefore 48.56 KSI and the factor of safety 2.04. For some applications, the spring will be physically restricted to not reach the solid length, like it was explained during the main video. But for any other situations, the factor of safety against yielding should account for the possibility of the spring being compressed all the way down to the solid length, just like we did here. Thanks for watching.